Hi, everyone. Then the Israel here. Thank you so much for being here during my live stream. I greatly appreciate your support. I've pre-recorded this so that we can have some of the behind the scenes done while you listen to me for just a moment. I again want to thank you so very much for being here during my live stream. If you could give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends so that they can come join us. And if you will also give me a comment in the comment section after this video is done and then definitely speak up in the chat and say hi. Lastly, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Now, if you're watching this as a replay, generally, if you're on a computer, you can go down below and look for the little gear. You can change that and make the speed faster. If you're on a mobile device, look up in the corner, up in this area for three little dots, and you can change the speed there as well. Those of you that are here live, do definitely speak up in the chat. I greatly appreciate you being here. Well, those that are here live earn a virtual currency. Junkie Joe should be coming up here in just a moment, and you'll be able to check how many bucks that you have. What are bucks? They're junk bucks. It's just a virtual point system that I have created on my account when we're live so that you can redeem those once you get to 2000 for a $10 off coupon to my shop. So you can type exclamation point bucks to see how many that you have. And if you have 2000 and you're ready for a coupon code, type exclamation point award. And my official note takers will take down that information. Now, if you haven't already created an account on my website at lindaisrael.com, Com, please do so and then send me a message through the contact form letting me know what your YouTube username is. Why? So I'll have your email address and I can email you your coupon code. Also, if you make a donation throughout this live stream, you can be added to my YouTube donators membership that I have on my website. So again, create an account, say, hey, Linda, I donated and tell me what your username is on YouTube if it's different. That way I can get you added to that. At the end of this stream, I will have journals made and you will have the opportunity to win one of those journals. Throughout the live stream, we'll have some various raffles and we also have in-chat games. So be looking out for that in the chat and I'll kind of speak it up when I get to it. For example, if you type exclamation point raffle, right now you can be in a chance to win 200 junk bucks. So you'll be well on your way to getting 2,000 junk bucks. Normally, Robin is my official note taker. Sometimes Angelica is my official note taker. It kind of depends on what's going on. These are members and administrators of my Facebook group, the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. If you haven't joined that group, we'd love to have you come and join us over there. What else? Let's keep the chat upbeat, friendly, and helpful. Hey, if you have a question, try to put it in all caps. That way I'll see it. If I don't see it, please don't be offended. The chat sometimes moves fast and I'm usually looking down trying to create things. So please ask again. But if you know the answer that someone else to someone else's question, please go ahead and answer for them. I greatly appreciate that. Let's see, what else? Oh, if you have a YouTube channel, you can't post your link, but you can say, I have a YouTube channel and tell us a little bit about it. Tell us your channel name, something like that. Tell us what you do. We're going to get started here in just a moment. I'm looking at the time. So roughly five minutes is when uh, I'll get started. So it should be just a few more seconds. So definitely hang out in the chat and we'll get started here in just a moment. Are we there? Are we here? Are you there? And I'm here. That's how it should be, right? <laughs> Hello, everybody. I hope you are well. Hope you can hear me. If you haven't already entered the raffle, please do so. So you can win 200 junk bucks. Once you get to 2,000 junk bucks, you can redeem those for a $10 off coupon. <clears throat> 
So welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad to uh, have you here today. I hope you are well. Those of you that uh, didn't know, Henry fell and hit his head a week ago, uh, cracked his skull and cracked or fractured his skull in his sinus cavity so he had two fractures in his head had to have 10 stitches it went across his eyebrow in his eyebrow and down into his eyelid you're welcome sherry um it was gnarly looking i took a picture of it before and i posted the picture after the stitches so it didn't look so bad <laughs> um why is my oh there it goes um so yes, he's doing a lot better. His face isn't near as swollen. He's getting the bruising under his eye, but it's all cleaning up. In fact, we took out, or he took out the stitches last night himself. I may need to check it tonight to make sure he got all of them. Um, so he's doing okay. Um, tired and his face hurts and it's hard and I may be doing the wrong side but um it hurts to chew on that side because of the fracture so we're just trying to make sure he doesn't fall again so my father-in-law has given us a bunch of wall outlet covers that have led lights in the bottom of them so in fact, I could probably show you a picture that I took of them. So when you take off the plate on your <clears throat> electrical outlet, can y'all see that? I know there might be a glare. You take off your other plate, put this plate on, and when it does, when you screw it in, the lights will work when it's dark. And so that was kind of uh, cool to... Uh, have those installed and we've installed a couple of lights that Henry can reach because apparently he has a hard time seeing and when it's dark and when it's dark he has tendency to fall this has this is the second time he's fell in the same area so I moved my jewelry cabinet I had a, a, a little table that had books on top of it that was out of the way but for Henry, it was not. <laughs> so we had to, uh, or I did, I took all that out of the way. So there's my desk that's permanently mounted on the wall and an air purifier that I pushed right up next to the desk. So he has got more space to walk. <laughs> oh, okay. So a couple of things. I just wanted to say thank y'all for placing your orders. I am waiting on the Tattered Angels to arrive. I'm also waiting on the print portion of the kit to arrive. The rest of the kit is ready to go. I'm just waiting for those items so I can be like, you know, pick one these up, pick one these up, put them in the bag, put them in the box, you know. <laughs> So it'll go pretty quick. Um, but there's plenty of time right now if you want to order any of the wild and free subscription box. That's the stencils that comes with it. Uh, I, you can do that now. If you already have a subscription and you want to add some items on, message me through my website. And I can give you a coupon code for free shipping so you don't have to pay additional shipping. Thank you, Margie, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, y'all. I really appreciate it. Yeah, what night lights all over the place, Bonnie. I understand. <laughs> um, so I appreciate you shopping with me. I appreciate you supporting us because we don't have medical insurance and we're going to have to pay for this emergency room visit where they had to do a CT scan of Henry. Um, so if y'all need to order something, you can do it now. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll give you a coupon code if you already have an order with me and you want to not spend more on shipping. I do have a new digital download and these are gel prints that I have altered or this is a gel print that I have altered. So I made basically this page and then I started altering the colorway in the software my photoshop software and i ended up making nine different colorways of the same print and i've used several of these images in the kit or the journal for today so if y'all are looking for those want something fun to play with very colorful i've got those available in my shop right now 
I also have some new stencils. I have the Romantic Flourish. So this is what it looks like sprayed through the stencil. <clears throat> I also added, pardon me, I'm, I'm having allergies issues. Thank you so much, Julie. This is Connected Circles stencil. So it is just that, Connected Circles. I haven't even used it yet. I designed it. Henry made it for me. I've been busy with other stuff. Thank you so much, Julie. And then this is connected square boxes, connected boxes that I'm put together. I'm also working on this. I really like your feedback. I have some lace backgrounds that I can use commercial use and sell. And they come like white and beige. I mean, it's very neutral toned, but I wanted some in color. So I altered it much like I did my gel prints. I had to go in and use my photo editing software and I printed on ivory paper and I also printed, didn't I? I thought I did. Yeah. On this one is on white paper. So this is a different color, but you can see possibly, I don't know, you may not be able to see that the flowers are white and they're ivory because the paper was ivory. I don't know, is that something y'all are interested in is some more background papers? Because I don't have a lot of these types of papers. I do have some scrapbook papers I'm trying to use, but I also thought it would be kind of fun to have something like that. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know. Okay, I'm trying to decide. Let's do this one first. <clears throat> So I've been playing around with all my scraps that I had left over for the wild and free journals that I've been making the past three weeks. This be week four. And I thought I would just kind of show you some of the ideas I had with trying to use it all up. Um, so especially if you get the, um, thank you so much, Lori. Thank you so much, Lori. Yes, Sam. And we've been told that they will. It's just, that's going to be a lot of money. <laughs> um, so I thought I would just kind of show you some ideas of using this. So this is from the print on kit. If you're getting all of the, um, the large journal kit, the subscription box, the planner kit, and then you put your journals together, but you kind of have some leftovers. If you have the digital download, you could add a few more few elements from that and make your own. So this is from the uh, add-on printed kit and uh, pages. I can't get my words out. <clears throat> oh, you like the license? Okay, thank you, Laura. Yes, Norma. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, they're pretty, Julie. Okay, well, I'll add those as a digital download. I'll get a whole color scheme made up. Um, because I thought they would be great for backgrounds or maybe you've got a book page that you collage and made it all pretty and then you flip it over and it's still book page on that side. Well, you could tear one of those or cut it and put it on the back for writing space. All right, so these are also from the kit, the add-on paper kit. And then I only had so much. So what I did was, as I attached them together by taking a little piece of book page and stuck it on the back, and then I cut a one inch strip of book page. I used Distress Oxide, um, camp, Crackling Campfire, and went down the edge. And then this is my button rubber stamp. So it's a little button, and I just stamped it over and over and over. And then I glued it on top, and now that attaches my paper together. So I have a whole new page. And I thought what we do is kind of collage on top of it. And we'll start with, I think, no, that goes over here. I got to get my pieces right because I redid all of them. Okay. So these are, oh, I forgot to do the tabs. You get to watch me do the tabs. You get to watch me do the tabs. Here I go, going to add little tabs. Um, so what I did, thank you so much, Sherry, for your donation. <laughs> Uh, what I did was I took a book page and I cut it to, I don't know, I think it was like three or four per page that I cut. And I wasn't really trying to pay attention to a particular size. I was just playing around with what can I get out of this book page. And 
I made these little pieces. I'll get my ruler out so you can see that these are roughly three and three quarters by two and a quarter inches. And I'm adding to them just scraps of one inch paper that I've had laying around on my desk. And maybe these were some of my stamped papers when I was stamping or they could be junk mail. In fact, I have, when we renewed our passport, you had to print the whole document and it printed like 15 pages of garbage that I didn't even need. <laughs> I was like, seriously, people? And uh, so I've been using those. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just adding, and this is a little strip that I put on top. And this is called Three Leaves Stamp that I stamped on top of the pink Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. So I sprayed it with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist once I got it to the size that I wanted. Then I stamped it with the Three Leaves Stamp after the Glimmer Mist was dry. I added some Distress Inks to the edges. <clears throat> And then digging around in my scraps, whatever was laying on my desk became like a little band decoration on here. So look at your scraps a little differently. I built, you know, this whole little pocket out of scraps of book pages and book pages I caught on purpose and then scraps of whatever was in the digital kit but, but junk junk general far, fodder <laughs> <clears throat> junk journal fodder that's right that's what those pages became all right so i added these tabs i'm going to go back to the first one and apply uh, pre, blah, 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 get my words out linda fold it to the back i use a one and a half inch circle punch to punch a circle i don't always do that i i usually forget so i've made sure to leave my punch right now it's on the floor beside me but it's been staying on my desk for the past couple of weeks so i would use it and i'm i'm always redoing my desk the way it's set up and i'm about to redo it again because i'm finding that there's some tools that i use a lot that i have a tendency to leave on my desk well my space is shrinking in so i need to go beside me and say okay i don't use this but once every six months i need to put it in a different spot just label it so i know where it's at so that's kind of things that i'll be doing in the next few weeks all right, so I want to make sure that I'm in the center of my page, so I'll fold it back. And I want to put these on the page, I guess centered. I think it's enough, you know, that I decorated all of those pieces that I don't have to keep adding other stuff unless I just want to. You could layer a book page behind here that wasn't painted or another digital image. When y'all get this kit, you can think this color, not quite. I think my cut is color is a little bit brighter, but I have stem cut green painted on my walls in my living room and dining room, and it's almost this color. <laughs> All right, so I want to come down. Okay. I came down because whatever I put here, I don't want sticking too far up. All right, so I'm gonna flip this back over here and we've got this side. So let me look to see what I was gonna do. Oh, okay. <clears throat> All right, so I have from the subscription box and some of the other boxes, you'll see these too. <laughs> um, I went ahead and just went around the edges with Distress Ink, and then I had this little piece of a book page that was cardstock left over, and I thought it might look kind of neat to put this right in the middle 
of the page here. So it may not be perfectly in the middle, but in the middle. So I will put glue on here. And we're going to make this a belly band, a belly band. So I'm going to center it. Maybe come up just a tad. And I'm gluing that down now so that it can be drying while we decorate. Oh, thank you, Nadine, the little file folder. So I had a piece of music here. I have, what else do I have? I'm going to look that there. <clears throat> I'm looking, I'm looking. Where did it go? I thought I had more stuff out. Okay, so let's get, let's look in here. I have this. Is that too big? That's kind of big. I have this one. I need to tell Norella they need to be a little bit smaller, but it kind of fits on there. And maybe what we'll do is not um, put on a lot. Okay, come on now. A huge um, amount of decoration on it. Something like that. We may not even use the music. <clears throat> but I do need some journal cards for over here. So we'll work on that in a minute. Okay. All right. I think that's what I want. I want to put that on here. And let's add some stamping to it. <clears throat> Craft Gremlin stuck again. That's what they do. I've got the, um, I don't want to do that. Okay, I'll do this. I was going to do the henna border, but we've already got a, the uh, vertical going this way. And I don't think I want to go the other direction, but I think it might look kind of cute. If I open this, well, I don't want to stamp on the back, but I don't want to stamp on this tab accidentally. So you got to have more than one sheet of scrappy paper that you can stamp on. And apparently, I've used mine. All right, so I'm going to put this like that so that it doesn't get my tab. <clears throat> and I'm not stamping around to the back, just in case. And I think like this. So when you're stamping, you want to let the ink transfer to your paper. So hold it down for a moment. Don't be so quick to try to stamp and run unless you just want a faint image. Okay. And then this we'll put on here like that. In fact, I may go ahead and just kind of leave it as a tuck spot. <clears throat> Make sure I got it right side up. Thank you, Laura, Nadine, Robin, Sherry, Morgan, Lori, and Margie for your donation today. I greatly appreciate your support. Y'all are amazing. Now, remember that your donation nets you a membership on my website. So when you donate, it buys the membership. And I set you up to where you can get some free digital downloads and you get 5% off of a lot of things in my shop. So if you would like to uh, get that discount, make a donation of any dollar amount. I've got these ticket shapes and I think what I want to do is cut it. So it is uh, three and a half. So 1.75, I think that would be right. What if we made this little couple little tickets, fake tickets? So let's add some distress inks here. There it is. So this is a ticket shape that I have included in several of the subscription boxes. And I just cut it in half. And I think it's what an inch, inch and a half by three and a half inches. 
and it has a couple of notches. So if you don't have a ticket punch, you don't have these little pieces of paper, you can, uh, you can, somebody's at my door. <clears throat> Let me see who it is. Pardon me. It was a delivery that I needed me for. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. Okay. I think that would be cute in there, but maybe we'll put a little something on there. Did you make a potty break? <laughs> Let's all get in trouble. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Crackle Cube. That, that's a cute, fun um, set. Do I want to do that? I'm going to do Bohemian. Yeah, let's do that. Bohemian. Where's the stamp pad? Oh, duh. <laughs> and I'll put it like it's on the tab portion. So it says Bohemian. And then let's do the other one. What word? Oh, I think stay wild will fit. So let's try that. Yeah. Okay. So Bohemian, stay wild, dance free. How's that? And I'm not going to put anything on the inside. We'll just leave it uh, blank. <clears throat> but that's a way to use a file folder. And that's going to go right there. Da -da -da. All right. I already have one of these swirly library cards laying here on my desk so we'll use that and i saw some card stock earlier nope not big enough oh i have this one that i haven't cut yet that's one of the kit pages oh and i have i have this pink so what if we made some journal cards out of this pink to go back here So let's look at this. I can cut this to be four, three and three quarters of an inch. That's a pretty good size journal card. And then how deep is that? So if I did four and a quarter, this one would stick out just a little bit. <clears throat> so let's just do four. We'll make them almost square. And that should... Oh, wait, this way. Did I do that wrong? Was I supposed to do three and a half? It's like, you should fit in there. What am I catching on? All right. <clears throat> I'm going to make it three and a half inches just so I don't have to fight the edge. Because apparently I'm having an issue here. There we go. All right three and a half. Will we wasted a little sliver. That becomes something for later on. 
and then this will go. So it, it sticks out just a little bit, but it's not too much. <coughs> Yeah, the swirly stamp is just something simple that you can stamp onto just regular papers. Or you could do like I've been doing, and I've been stamping it on printed book pages. So you get a whole different look. I'm missing. Oh, it's right here on top. That's why. So here it is where I stamped. Or, yeah, stamped on top of the printed page. So you kind of get the difference there. All right, so let's round the corners. I think I'm going to sh shorten this one. Make them match. I was going to leave it taller, but I could have swapped it and put the tall one down here. But now this should fit and not stick up. Okay. Let's uh, add, round the corners. Shush! <laughs> I didn't ask for her. <laughs> oh dear. You like that? Just making it simple. All right, let's get some distress ink on here. I was trying to pre-make a bunch of things, but I also wanted to kind of just talk to y'all and show you a little bit of the process on some things, but don't do the whole thing because it takes so long, but you get the gist of it. <clears throat> oh yeah, making the tickets. Perfect. Oh, well get it out and use it, Julie. Use it, use it, use it. Okay, so if we put this in here, now we've got a pocket. All right, now, are you not getting where I want you to go? There. And we have a pocket here. So we need something on there to kind of break up that, that monotonous, right? So how about, do we want to do hope? And I have on this day. Does that break that up enough? We could also add maybe a piece of fabric. I don't know if this strip is wide enough. And I could probably cut some wider. Let's see here. Well, that might work. So let's do that. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Do you like the uh, flourished border lines? Yeah, that was that was a fun one, too. I haven't used it in a while, and I, just, I got another order for it the other day. I need to get it out and just sit down and do a session where I just make a bunch of journal cards. Normally, I kind of wait until I'm ready to make a journal to make all of those, but I need to do some eclectic stuff. So I've been working with um, a few of my scraps, and I've been making freaking pages. So I'm trying to make a bunch of those. I've got a pile of them started, and then I'll also sit down and make a bunch of journal cards, just random, maybe out of Franken pages, or make journal cards that are Franken pages because I'm only using a certain size of foundation for the paper or something, you know, trying to use it up book pages. Uh, who knows? I'll figure something out and I'll be sharing with y'all some of those tips and ideas. I've got a tutorial that's coming out tomorrow and it will be for the last freebie prize today. I'll give away one so that uh, you can be inspired and create your own. It's a little folio. So be on the outlook for a folio tutorial over on here on YouTube or on my blog. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to stitch around them. I don't have any stitches on these pieces, but I think I want some stitches around the words. All right, so let's go over here to the sewing cam. See if y'all can see me okay. I have a regular sewing machine, regular needles, 
regular thread, I do recommend that you get new thread. If you have a stash of grandma's thread or even, you know, you're a grandma now and you bought it when you weren't a grandma, <laughs> it is usually going to break if you put it in your sewing machine. It's very frustrating. So I just save it to do other things with um, and just buy new thread. And make sure that your glue is dry if you glued something down before you go to stitching because it will cause your paper to tear and be a gummy mess. All right, so I'm just gonna stand, uh, stitch around the blue just a little bit. So it's pretty on this side, and then you can flip it over and write on the back side. So there's the front, and then that's the back. All right, let's do the next one real fast. What else was I telling you about? I've got a gel print tutorial. I, I edited it. And now that I've used it a few times uh, in projects, I can take pictures of these and use them as examples. And I'm going to uh, make a tutorial video using these. I wanted a bunch of different ex examples. Uh, but I have a tutorial on how I made this gel print that I'll be getting out soon. All right. On this day... All right, Linda, I'm just having issues here. I must not have got my pieces of paper all the way glued down so it's catching. Where are you catching? What is your malfunction now? Come on. There. And then we'll go ahead and let's just put these in the back. So they're in there. I don't want it to cover up the hope. And then this can be a little something. In fact, I just saw what I do with it. I saw a little scrap of paper earlier. So I've got this little scrap of paper that I cut earlier. And I've got enough that I think I could fold it into two pieces. So I'm going to fold in the corner. I want to make a tiny, tiny folded envelope, but not quite. It won't be completely folded up. All right, I didn't get it very straight. Come on now. We're just going to go with it. And then we're going to fold this down. And I'm going to fold this up. It'll be a long, skinny one. to start with and then we'll fold this up and then this can go right there so did you see that so I came in the corners trying to use all the scraps and I'm making you know my own little ephemera I'm gonna decorate it so we're not we're not completely done yet Okay, and then I'm going to fold this up, not quite all the way to the top, and then fold this in half, and this is going to end up going right there. Okay, <clears throat> let's add some distress ink. You like the colors? Seeing that adding that teal on there kind of breaks up that pink just a little bit. I should have picked a different print, but I kind of like the pink and the pink together. All right, so I'm just going to go around this real fast with some distressed ink. Just basically kind of giving this a little vintage look. Okay. And you can do the whole thing if you want. even doing the creases because you can then unfold the whole thing and write on it if you want okay 
So I'll fold it up and then fold it like this. It goes like that. So let's add something to the front here. Uh, I think the, I bet you the henna embellishment would look kind of neat stamped from the top down. So we got a scrap of paper here. And let's ink up. This is the henna embellishment. Squirrel! Okay, whatever. All right, so now I'm going to put this right about here and stamp. Oh, that turned out cute, didn't it? Oh, I love it. Okay, where's the other one? <laughs> I'm busy, Robin. I'm creating here, okay? I'm just going to quickly do what is seen, not the whole do that. I think you've got the idea of it. Okay, I'll go back later and I'll stamp it right down the middle. I like it. Oh, that turned out pretty cute. So now when we put this in here, we've got these cute little envelopes. Do you like it? I like it like that. Do, 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 do. Okay. Why are you eye rolling? <laughs> also squirrel. <laughs> You like the colors? Thank you so much, Julie. Hey, this is my show. I call the shots. And besides, you're early. It's supposed to be at 4.30. <laughs> okay. So I'll set this aside for a minute. I haven't done anything on the other side. What I did was I have this print that I need to fold let's see this way okay and then I happen to have a from the kit one of the book pages happened to fall and it was this herbalicious whatever sun cactus <laughs> and then this was another image that was in the book page on the other side with the flower and i thought it'd be kind of neat to layer those on top i just cut them and made sure they had the little tabs with it but i think i need to add some color to this piece and i'm looking to see i have a journal tag if I put it down about that far, I can put that in there. I need a card for this piece. I could use, because this is a pocket. I think I could get away with using that. So maybe we'll do this in a wild coral. I'm thinking, do I want to do wild coral so it kind of picks up a little bit of that yellow. In fact, what I may do is I'm looking for a marigold, I think. Where is it? How come the one you want? Oh, it's never where you think it is. Marigold. All right, I'm going to do this first before I spray it. I'm going to go around the edges with the dried marigold, and this is a very thin piece of paper, so i got to be careful. Wow, I should have doubled it up. It's very thin, but I'm going to be gluing it down completely. It's just for background. All right, so now I'll take the wild coral and spritz it, so it'll give it more orange yellow kind of blends on the edges and just hitting it with the heat tool <laughs> yeah like the vice from stranger things there you go <laughs> uh, which comments now <laughs> combination 
weird spider looks like a deranged octopus. <laughs> a creepy alien monster. <laughs> oh dear, spider. Well, I'm covering it up. <laughs> Oh dear, you're cracking me up here. All right, I think what I want to do is glue this one down. I've already gone around the edge with distress inks. That's just too funny. It's a deranged octopus. <laughs> you thought octopuses were deadly. Wait till they are have scales like oct uh, cactus. All right, I think I put that in. Yes, perfect. I like that. All right, so then this piece I thought would look good there and then put that on top of it. Yeah, I did add some distress ink to the back of this or, or around the edges, but it kind of got washed away. So I'm just going to come back in. I'm using the edge of my scrap paper to give me some strength because this book page is really fragile. And it's going to rip if I manhandle it too much. I'm trying to be real careful with it. But it's okay. We're just going to put that on top. Mop-up paper. Oh, you like this mop-up paper? It's a mess. <laughs> I, haven't, I need to do some more spraying soon. All right, I'll put that right there. Like this. Okay, and then this can go down here. And I have the word journal, or I have a butterfly that we can color how about we do that all right are you ready for the raffle now huh are you are you ready yet you used a collegiate dictionary to kill a spider talk about overkill <laughs> <laughs> you did it <laughs> oh hilarious okay so let's pick a winner of 200 junk bucks and i'll get the prize ready since robin's so persistent <laughs> and the winner is Kimberly Smith, congratulations. Kimberly, you have won 200 junk bucks. I'll get those awarded to you after the live stream. Let's see. Um, hmm. This has got a real uh, technical name. Mixed journal cards and stuff. So Karen St. Clair sent... A bunch of little doodads to me and I had them stashed away and I just found them and I kept a couple and so these are some of the little I guess you could call these belly bands or they could be um, bookmarks you could put a piece of paper on the back if you wanted to have more writing space or you could glue it down into your journal and make it a side pocket but she did a few of these. This one could be cut up, so you could use half of it because it's kind of big. I don't know if it's taller than eight and a half. It's right at eight and a half. And then this one was kind of soft and pretty. Has a little um, envelope on it. These are glued in. So she says, thanks for your video. So there's from uh, Karen. And then... I dug around in my stash and I thought I would give y'all this little envelope. That's a top load little envelope. It's made out of the mop up from my gel printing and I stenciled and stamped some more on it. And I stamped this with the time, time collage. Is that 
the other one. This one's got a really weird name, and I can't remember it. But I think if you type clock in my shop, it'll come up in that search eventually. <laughs> uh, then I thought, well, y'all can use some little tickets. And then this is where I made a pocket. It's a corner tuck spot, I mean. And it's a music page, a book page that I sprayed with Tattered Angels and then stamped on top. And then I happened to make this for one of my journals a while back. And it's just a paper strip with fabric sewn on top. So it's perfect for a quick little snippet roll. Maybe you've got a project you're doing. So I'm sharing all of these. I'm going to put this in my little envelope so y'all can enter the raffle for that. All right. My mouth is dry. I need some water. Yeah, that's that label dye from um, that company, Stampin' Up. All right, I, I think I want to go ahead and put this down, but I want to make it... I think we need to do the orange and yellow. So I'm going to get a couple of colors here. And do we want orange at the outside, yellow in the middle. I think so. So that's what I'm going to do is kind of just quickly color in the middle. And then I'm going to go, these are watercolor pencils. So they activate with water. Okay. I'm not spending a lot of time being meticulous because I am going to come back with a brush and get it wet. So I just want to have enough that it's colored in a little bit. Okay. I'm going to use the Wild and Free Vanilla. Get a paint brush that I like. I'll use this one. And I know I'm brave. I'm going to open the bottle and dip my paintbrush. So let me zoom in for you. And I'll dip my paintbrush and I'll kind of start in the middle and get that kind of going. And then let's start working out to the edge. Coming back into the middle. And then come out to the edge. Back in the middle. Back in the middle again. I'm using a um, linen cardstock for the paper. I use that for my tags that I put in my rubber stamps and so I usually have pieces left over and I think this one I started to print in the printer jam so I had this leftover bit I'm just getting it dry so it's got a little bit of shimmer to it but I think that helps cover up the spider doesn't it <laughs> is that better like zippy doo dah <sighs> You like it? I think I need to put a little bit more Distress Ink right here. I'll kind of go around it real fast. And before I glue it down, I'm looking. One more thing. Is there... I have some fabric here. Mm -hmm. Nope, that's too, too much. Not the right color. Just trying to see if there was something that would go better. Maybe a little snippet of. I don't know that it makes any difference. I don't think it does. So we're going to take that off. And then maybe we'll use the word journal. Maybe that's what I'll do. 
is put that on a piece of fabric. So building this collage more in the middle of the page, I have this orange. I think I like that just kind of we getting there I think we're getting there building on there so the journal words I did sit here for a few minutes and stamped a couple of those because I thought well if I had them cut and laying here I'd be more apt to grab it instead of having to get a rubber stamp out and make one. So I think that, I think that looks pretty good. Pretend it's gone. <laughs> yes, there you go. You could, you want leaves on there. Here's what we can do. Let me find. I know I had one. Oh, what did I do with it? I put it over here, I think. I think I have a little flower stamp that I could stamp in the background. If I can find it. I don't think it's been indexed yet. I could do, well, maybe. This is where those teeny tiny little stamps come in handy. <laughs> but I can't figure out why. Oh, there it is. I found it. It was right where it was supposed to be. I found it. All right. I don't want to stamp on my butterfly, but I want to get it kind of close. And maybe I can stamp that. Is that helping? And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of come up. To this side. So that fixed the spider. <laughs> Did that fix the spider? And then you could come in and color those flowers if you wanted. If we were to spend a moment. It is on magazine type paper, book paper. It's a glossy paper. And I probably just would just kind of fill those a little bit. And I'm just sloppily coloring them. I'm not, and it is with the watercolor pencil. So I'm not really paying a lot of attention. Does that help? Does that make it more better? And I'll get my little water brush. So it kind of makes it a water. How's that? Y'all have spider phobias. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you had that flower stamp. I know I sent it to you, but see that that's how I completely changed it. So now it didn't look like a spider. It's fine. Thank you. Well, I fixed it. It's a little wet. So I'm going to dry it real fast. I'm lollygagging too much. I got to get, I got to get the moving, moving. <laughs> oh, I just dumped it. Where'd it go? Oh, no. I had a thing I made I was going to use. And I think it got swept into my st 
stash. Oh, well. Let's see. I can make another one, maybe. I've got another piece of paper that I thought would be a cute band across the page. Again, we're going to put it somewhat in the middle. And I started to cut another journal card. Oh, that was too, too deep. I don't think we need it, though. All right, but I think I want this on this side. And I happen to have a couple of little pieces that I thought would be kind of cute in it. But I'm seeing this, and I'm thinking, we need something else on the page. I'm going to grab, let's see what I've got here. Oh, I know I cut a bunch of papers on there. I don't know if this is big enough, but maybe Uh, thank you so much, GGs. By the way, y'all, if you're waiting on a prize for me, I am behind on sending out prizes and will be doing so this week. I think I need this piece to be shorter. So maybe make it, if it was six inches, I think six inches. And let's go around the edge of some distress ink here. Minus the bite, the spider plant, <laughs> the spider butterfly. <laughs> uh, spider pant butterfly. So if we put that there and this here, that kind of gives us a whole different little collage look, does it not? All right, so I want to glue this piece down. Maybe we'll grab a book page. Or a piece of music. I see a little piece of music, so maybe we'll use that. Although it's the same color, so... It may not look quite right. Maybe if maybe it was smaller. No, it needs to be just slightly smaller. And then it needs to have distressed ed edges. Make a suitcase, yeah. Okay, so what if we did and then put it like that? Okay, I think that works. Just adding little elements. I hardly do collage pages like this, so I hope you enjoy it. I'm trying to do a multitude of things for y'all. I think that'll go right here. All right, so let's look right about there. I just have to make sure I'm in the page just a little bit. Okay, so what do we want to put? Oh, I'm going to have, this strip isn't as big. I'm going to have to add tabs. Yep, got to add tabs. Make it long enough. Or receptive to getting the, I don't know why I turned it that way. <laughs> the file folder inside of it. Now, I'll glue this down, and it should give a little bit. 
and accommodate the file folder better. All right, so on this piece, I think we'll stamp the mandala again. I like the way that looked last time. And I think we'll go right in the middle. So I was just looking, I didn't want to stamp on top of the tab. Okay, so if we did this, we're getting there. I think we need a little color on the tab. So what if we did, I've got this uh, kind of daisy looking stuff. I'll just do a little pleat. So we'll put it right there. All right, this will be a trial run if you like it. I think I like that with that little bit picking out. So I'm going to go to the sewing machine. So, sewing lamb, where are you? I'm going to go over the sewing machine and I'll stitch right across the top here. So that'll secure it into place and it just adds a little decoration. What is less stuff? <laughs> we gotta have more. Gotta have more, 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 right? I was try trying to stall because I knew I had wet glue. So I'm thankfully it's cardstock weight, so it's not as fragile as a book page. Okay. Okay, always wanting new stuff. <laughs> All right, so I think that could go in there. And I can't remember if this stuck out. No, it did not. But I, I think it's fine like that. You could, if you wanted, put yet another card behind here. Um, is this one too wide? But I have this. I don't think so. I don't think that would work. We could do something with that. <clears throat> so if we were to cut that. So that would be... Ideally, I think five and a half inches. If I go to there, that would be a good size behind there. And we're adding more writing space because we don't really have it on the page. We have it in the layered elements. So I'll cut this at five and a half. And I think I'll keep it pretty simple. We'll round the corners of this one. We didn't of the other layers, so that'll make this one stand out a little bit. I think, I think, I think. I'm in the zone, y'all. You like the fabric on the tab? Thanks, Norman. Norma. I don't know why I said Norman. Norma. My tongue got a little overzealous. <laughs> Destash! It never gets smaller. <laughs> Destash! Okay, I like that. And I know we use it on the other side, but I think the word journal could go right in the middle there. And we're not going to use this. So that's what happens. You don't have to use every single thing that you set aside. All 
All right, so I think that's what I'll do is put that in the middle. I like it. By stamping the file folder and then the touch of the teal, we just got some really cool layers going on here. I like it. And it's pretty snug. This card may slide out eventually, but I think I'm fine for now. I don't think it needs another thingy. I mean, that doesn't work. So I'd have to dig around. Oh my gosh. I'd have to dig around for something. And I think what I'm going to do instead is glue these together. So we want to... And I think I'll just glue them completely together. There's enough stuffs on the pages that I could change. No, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I was just thinking that what if I took another digital image and, or a scrapbook paper and put it on the back and I had two pages. <laughs> What if I put that on the back of this one? And, ooh, that's too wild. Oh, but I've got this one. I think I could do that. And I may just add some writing space. I don't even think you need to add writing space. I think you just add an embellishment in the corner. I think you can write on it the way it is. You like it? Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, I'm, I'm saving time, too, because I will have had two pages made now <laughs> instead of just one. Okay. Trying to get it straight. I'll get a old gift card to Oops. All right now. Why don't you cooperate with me? I lost all my bone folders, y'all. I haven't found them. That's another reason why I'm going to clean up completely around my desk in the hopes that I'll find it. All right, I'm going to set that aside to dry, and let's glue this one down. I had it already printed, and my goal is to use what I have here. So, instead of splitting or making that one page, I'm split it into two. Okay. Ah, didn't get glue all the way to the edge. Okay. All right, let's fold this in half. like it. Of course, I've been manhandling it, so. All right, maybe I will put something at the bottom here. It has to be tealy colored. Oh, I know what I could do if I have any of it left. But I don't. Ah, oh, perfect. So I'll use the tab punch. I think I showed y'all before. If you got a great big punch like this and you want to be able to see, and pardon me as I stand up, and I'm using an acrylic block to push the whole thing. So if you have, you know, that need of punching where you see the opening <laughs> use an acrylic block to protect your hand 
and get a good punch. So what if I took this, I don't think I need it folded in half. I think what I need to do is cut it. So I'm going to distress it where I need to cut it. Okay. And I'll save that. Who knows? We may find a use somewhere else. Okay, so if we did this at the bottom, put it where it goes, Linda. It would keep it from falling out. You have to touch, you actually tuck it, but we'll put it on there. So if you don't have the punch, there are a couple of these page tabs in the kit. I would just trace one and use it as a template. Okay, how's that? That kind of brings the teals together again. And we've got this side. And I saw I had this cow skull here. So I'm just kind of creasing my page the other way so I can see. I think something like that just just simple embellishment on the page this is the cow skull that I stamped and watercolored with my watercolor pencils again and then fussy cut it out since there's so much on the other side of the page we don't have to go all on out on this side so when you flip it, you get that contrast. So let's put a little something, a little something. Let's find a little something to talk about. Do, do, do. Um. I found, yeah, I don't think that goes. I think it needs something else with it, but we could put that down. Ah, oh, here's what we can do. I don't use page flags very often because things don't stay under them, in my opinion. So I'm just going to use it as a decoration on the page, not as a tuck spot. And again, keeping it simple and bring it to the top of the page. Y'all just gone off on your own, haven't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. If you have that f a fancy label punch, that's right. That's a good way to make a tab. I decided to center it down here. And then we'll put it across the top of the page like that. And I'll make it where you could tuck something up under there. But personally, they fall out. So I don't use them like that. All right, so we're just keeping this side simple since we have all this busyness on the other side yay we got a page done finally i know i'm taking my time all right so now we have this page it's done on this side but we need to do something over here so i'll fold this page so we have our center i'll go back the other direction and let's grab something to put on here that's, again, somewhat simple. 
It's not super bulky. Just gives us a little decoration at the top of the page. So I'm looking in my fussy cut elements and oh we've got I've got these kind of things like that gets lost but if I put that together that's kind of pretty I have the mason jar and a label um I have this orangey paper. Maybe I'll punch a shape out of that. Or would this be better? No, I don't like it. I have a little scrap of this. Nope, that's too much the same color. Maybe just a little peek. Sometimes you just got to play with it until you get the little composition put together. And, oh. That, yeah, goes in here. That goes in here, Linda. You're right. You're doing it the right way. Put this over here out of the way. Okay. I think I like that. Put this in the middle. Just really simple. Yeah, a lot of people don't understand the concept of junk journals. I understand that. People look at me strange when I tell them what I do. I just basically say, it's, it's just a journal. I teach people how to make journals. Okay. Let's put it right side up. I haven't done this in a while. I'm going to use some bling. All right, let's glue this little bundle down. I think I want that jar a little skewed. There. Keeping it really simple. All right, I'll give you some bling on this side. <laughs> Maybe I'll add a word. Maybe the last thing I'll do. All right, did I lose my sticky? No, it's still sticky. If I can get it where I want. Actually, I think it did lose its sticky. It did. It's not sticking. Okay. I found a tutorial video today I did in 2010, and I don't look the same. <laughs> uh, we'll just put it out there. Okay. So, I think... I got a little scrap of paper here and let's do a tiny word. Let's do boho. It's one of my favorites. I think I'm going to use this a lot and we'll stamp it on the scrap because it's real small. I say these little strips of paper whenever I trim things. So comes in really handy because that all fits my words. So if you uh, trim some of Norella or my digital downloads or the pages, you know, look for those straight edges to see if you could use it to uh, 
make a word. Okay, I like that. I think I want it up here though. How's that? Okay. Another page completed. I'm trying to decide which way I don't want to go. Take this way. All right. I need a drink. That one's empty. Okay, where are we now? This was a possible idea. Okay. Just getting out the thingies that I want to use for the next one here. So we've got a pocket. I've got some little add-on elements. I've got a stencil. This is some Brutus Monroe paper that I've had for a long time. And I think right off the bat, I'll just cut it to be three by six. And we'll use that as journal cards for the pocket. And I think I want to spray, no, let's stencil. So these will go in here. I think I want to stencil. And then that'll be a pocket. All right, I think that's what I want to do. I'm going to get, this is the wild stencil one. I just realized something that if I did this right, I have a mop up sheet built in when I open up my page for my stencil. All right, so that's kind of pink. I'll get blueprint sketch. It's a blue that is fairly dark, but I think if I find my right tool, that's not you, not you. Where did you go? You're not in my shoe. This doesn't make any sense. Where did you go? Why did you run? Why did you hide? I found it! <laughs> All right. It's got the name on there, but apparently I've used it for other colors. And so the head, I'm trying to get it really blue now, isn't very blue. So it was hard to see. All right, so let's just kind of add some stenciling. Some areas I'm going a little bit heavier, and some areas I'm just barely brushing it over. So you'll kind of see the light to dark. Going it down the page. I got in my zone. I start stenciling and I'm thinking about what am I doing? What am I going to do next? I kind of like that. Just real subtle in the background. Let's change stencils. And. Oh, you know, let's use the. Uh, some of the new stencils that I got. Where did I put those? Here we go. Now the Romantic Flourish doesn't really like the blending tool, but I'm going to try because it's got too many sharp pointy areas. Let's see if that, no, it doesn't really show up much. Okay. So instead, I've got a pale blue Tattered Angels, the wild blue. And normally I move this and get my box out, but I think I'm just going to spray it. I got a hanging Chad. Come on. 
All right, and just lightly mist this. And just for giggles, where is it? I want... It's a wild and free, the tealy color. Just lightly putting some color down. Put a mop up on the stencil. It kind of made an interesting color palette, didn't it? Let's do a little bit of this purple on the back. All right, so here's what it looks like for the mop-up paper. Doing that splattery look. And then they're spraying through the stencil. I wanted it to be really light and not bleed through to the other side. Okay. Go ahead and fold the page. I think I want to stamp. I've got my border stamps out here and stamp across the top and which one do I want to use? I think maybe the well I'm changing my mind. I think I want the henna border. I think that would look better across the top and maybe even across the bottom in black. Oh, a little crooked. I'm trying to stamp away from me so I'll move it closer to me. There. So it kind of just adds a little bit to the page. I'm going to do it on this one as well. I'm going to do it towards me and flip it around. It's so much easier. <laughs> Why am I killing myself here? Just move it back. All right, so that side, we'll have that on there. This side, we'll do something different. Because it's more that, that romantic flourish is got a whole different look to it. I think we could get away with stamping the feathered arrows on here. And I'll stamp the dream catcher kind of like that. Because if I do a little collage like that around it, maybe even move it down just a little bit. Okay, I like that. Okay. I think it needs a little something around the outside edge. So... I think I had the henna rose stamp here. Yep, I got the henna rose. I'm going to slide that in and stamp that in the corner. So it just really ties this all together with the stamping. I don't think it needs it on this side, but I think what I do want is a little bit in this opposite corner. Okay. All right, a piece of fabric would be a good touch, I think, now. And maybe a word sentiment. What do you think?
this one's kind of big, but I could put it like that. Maybe a little piece of teal fabric. Right there. How's that? I gotta look at the chat. How long is that stamp? That stamp. Oh, here it is. It says on my website, Sam, <laughs> but it is five inches long. Maybe five and a smidge, but five inches long, Sam. <clears throat> I try to put the measurements on the website. I think that's what I want to do. You need coffee? No cheesecloth? You want some cheesecloth? I've got some. <laughs> I have I have a little piece here already cut that we can we can use a little bitty piece of it. Just for Margie. All right, so let's glue down the butterfly first. You threw out cheesecloth, Robin? I would have taken it. <laughs> She's like, I know you would have taken it. That's why I threw it out. <laughs> okay, I think I like it. I like it like that. Got to get enough glue on it. Get it to attach to the fabric. So it's poor man's lace. Cheesecloth. <laughs> I like that it lays flat. So you're not adding a whole bunch of bulk. And some of those laces can stick up so far. But... You have to put fewer things on your pages because your lace and stuff is so thick. All right, I like that. We haven't put anything over here yet. And I did stamp up there. So I think I want to go ahead and put my pocket here like that. I think that's what I want. I almost forgot the pocket, so that's why I flipped it back over here. <laughs> it also gives me a moment to contemplate, what am I going to put on the other side? I need more sentiment stamped out. All right. So then I've got these two that I started, but I need to put some distress inks on. I rounded the top corners. And it's white on the back, so you'll have that space. And I think this time I was going to punch the top and put some fabric, but every page doesn't have to have fabric on it so keeping that somewhat simple i guess i think it may need one other piece of something to help break it up oh do i have any left i have this yellow orangey color I have this other pink. So what if I put that in the middle? I have this pink. But I think the orange is better. More better. Lots and lots of writing space in this journal. I'm going to stamp on this. Just 
get my scrap of paper. I think this color will show up since I've got the henna rose out. I'm going to clean it off because I was using that permanent ink. And if you go to stamp with oxide, you'll transfer ink to your ink pad. All right, so let's stamp this and see. It's barely on there. So I'm going to try something. I've got more paper. I've got some water. And I just sprayed it with water. And it's really faint, kind of like a watermark look to it. Hey, pardon me. Woo, that was terrible. Sorry, y'all. I tried to get away from it. That's what I've been doing all day. <laughs> I'm going to heat this. I don't think it came out the way that I wanted. But I'm not going to give up. I think what I'm going to do, I need that dry though. It's still wet. It's two tone on tone. So instead, I've got the walnut stain. I didn't want it to be bright black. So that's why I'm doing the lighter color. That's kind of interesting with the texture behind it. I don't know if you can see the other spray or the stamped area. So now when we put that in here, it breaks up the page just a little bit with all those feathers. <laughs> okay, and we did this one, so we haven't done this side yet. I think we can just get away with putting that in the corner. Um, it already has a word with it. I have a little piece of fabric. We could put it closer to this edge. And I've got another piece of cheesecloth, Robin's favorite. I don't think I want that much. Maybe a little something like that. I think I want this to uh, ruffle just a little bit. Squish it! Just squish it! Just squish it! <laughs> Alright, and then we'll do like that. Why do I see blah? Cheesecloth. <laughs> oh dear, you missed the alien spider monkey. No, it was a plant, a cacti, that for some reason to everybody on camera watching today, watching my camera today, complained that it looked like a spider. Okay, that's kind of cute. All right, then over here, I have the little feather. And why don't we do, is this the right purple? That's purple, but the, I think maybe we'll go with the, uh, the little daisy again. So we'll cut a little piece. I have a little piece of cheesecloth. Robin's absolute favorite. And then we'll put a little and ruffle. Squish it. Just squish it. Trying to balance out by putting some more 
top featured items. Okay, I like that. Coolio. All right, another page made. Huh. Moving right along. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this time I thought I want to use up a scrapbook paper. So what I did was I cut the scrapbook paper to be eight and I think it's left it at 12. So it's eight by 12. And then I scored at four and a half and then again at four and a half and I'm making this into a page with a flip out and this is some cheap scrapbook paper so it's text weight so I don't want to do a lot of super embellishments on it but what I'll do is lay this out here and I've got my stencil oh wrong paper my stencil flowers and vines and I think I want to go this way I was trying to decide which way I want to go and Let's do the purple. I've been using seedless preserves when I've been working on this kit. So I'll line it up here. And just kind of add a little. <sighs> See how this comes out. I like this little stencil. I was playing around with patterns and I was trying to figure out ways to get a pattern like this, but I, it was just not coming out, wouldn't coming out. And then I, one day I was like, Oh, that's what I need to do. So I started doodling it and it's like, Oh, this, this is what I wanted. It came out. So I'm just lining it up. Most of my stencils, not all. But most of my stencils that have a repeating pattern like this one, you can line it up and continue on. So if you've got a bigger project, you can line it up and continue adding your pattern design to whatever project. Oh, I like it. Okay, let's put that up there. It's over there. Let's put the stencil back in the folder. That's a much better system, Linda. All right, so now I've got this page that I've started embellishing the back side. And I've got a few little embellishments. That's another one of the cow skulls that's in the kit. And I think it just looks kind of cool on that page as a focal point. <laughs> not serving any purpose other than it's party. And I think this could go right there. I do have a little label, but I don't think it goes. Well, I guess you could put it like that. So it looks like you've got a placard. <laughs> All right, I'll glue those together. So let's glue this down. If I move it down further on the page, I could put a journal card behind it and have it be a pocket. So that's what I'm going to do is move it down on the page. put this right here. I just saw some journal cards, tags that I made. So what if I put that? I know it's, it's bright, but I also have this one. Maybe like that. Okay. 
I'm going to do my strip method just so that I have a little wiggle room in my pocket. Okay. Oh, the saltwater taffy. I haven't got that color yet. I haven't purchased very many of the colors. And I always tend to buy the ones that were two seasons ago. <laughs> because I don't feel like I need them all that often, but occasionally I'll come across the color scheme that I'm working that I'm like, you know, I really wish I had this grouping of colors. And so I got lucky on Black Friday and Joanne's Crafts had them marked down. They were 50% off plus some other bonus, seems like, off your entire cart purchase. And I got, I don't know, five colors, I think. Okay, I like that. So let's fold the edges. So you're really seeing me on the spot creating here today. I'll need to count how many pages we have here in a moment to see if we're good. I think I'm going to come down the page just a smidge, but not all the way to the bottom. And now when I put this in here, and I can put this one behind, and I think it needs a little piece of fabric. <clears throat> So I'm using scrapbook paper now. Do we want purple? I think we want the purple. It's only fabric. If it doesn't, we don't like it. We can take it off. But I think maybe like that. I could do the teal again, but I've used it so many times now. I only stitched that real fast. Oh, but lost my shoe. You missed it. Sewing cam. It's over. <laughs> All right. So then this will open up and we have this side of the page. Well, I've put a lot of bulk on the other side. So this time I think we need to stamp and not add a lot of bulk. So, how about, <laughs> this is the uh, Summer Bloom from Beeline Designs, and I think what I want to do is just kind of stamp that. I'm not pushing it all the way down, so I'm getting a partial image. And I think I'll go ahead, because this is the spine portion, and come around this side. Okay. And then over here, I think I'll get a different stamp. This is from the Sunkissed Cube. All right, so now my nose is running. Yep, missed. All right, we'll stamp down this side. Come on now. Put my stamp away. So when you 
flip this page, you'll see this, and then you'll have a few pages when you get here. So now we just need some little sentiment or an image at the top of the page, maybe. And oh, thank you so much for your donation, Eric. Heather, Rhonda, Gigi, Susan, Janice, Connie, Laura, Nadine, Robin, Sherry, Morgan, Lori, and Margie. Thank you so much, y'all, for your donation. What do you what do you want now? Poke, poke, nudge, nudge. Is it that time already? God, you're so demanding. What is your dealio? <laughs> oh dear. I think I want, I want a word. Okay, maybe this one's right. All right. Let's see. Celebrate your creativity. Create the world you want to see. Follow your feelings. Let's do follow your feelings. Isn't that a bohemian way? Follow your feelings. I know we're going to do a raffle. I'll be giving away a bunch of little goodies. All right. Follow your feelings. And create the world you want to see. Should fit. Yes. Okay. So I'm just using some more of these scraps. I think this one will fit on there. I think that end is skinny, but we'll see. Ah, I got perfect. Yay, it fits, it gets used. Scissors, whoopsie. And I may need another word, but I don't know yet. Create the world you want to see. What if we put that? We got to put it on something so we can see it. And then this one will be, oops, follow your feelings. All right, y'all enter the raffle. I took a bunch of sinus medicine because I kept sneezing. So now I'm dry mouth because I'm talking and I need more water. Ah. <sighs> I didn't even ask y'all, how is everybody? Um, I think I told you about Henry. He's doing a lot better. I've just been suffering from headaches, sneezing, and having to blow my nose. So some days it's good, and some days it's not. It's a little bit annoying. All right, so... Do we want something like this? Create the world you wish to see. And we'll just put that up here at the top. How's that? Is this big enough? It may not be. Well, I'm going to use it anyway. It, it's fairly bigger. Not much, but a little. All right. Junk bucks. Somebody won 100 junk bucks. Congrats. All right. We got enough people playing games that it said, all right, I'm going to be generous. <laughs> all right. I'm just kind of folding the fabric. It's where I tore it. It's kind of curled, but. I'll put some glue right down the middle here. I use Aline's Tacky Glue on fabric all the time. Usually when I switch glues is if I'm dealing with something plastic or trying to glue to acrylic paint can be difficult sometimes. Okay, I like that. And I'm gonna put this one over here. Add some glue to it. Add some 
glue to it. I've got an arrow, so let's stamp it. Since it says, follow your feelings. Maybe we'll do it like that. <laughs> follow your feelings. All right, so we just need to put something on this side. It's wonky. Quit that. And I've got just this little label. I think that would be really simple to put that at the top here. What you could do, if I had the right color, That kind of breaks it up a little bit and gives you some more writing space. Looks like I started to put distress inks on this and then put it back. Either that is the glue from the pad. Okay, I like that. And... Oh, what do I do? What do I do? I think I'll do the flower swag on here. Ink. I think I want to do it around the corner. By putting this flower stamped all the way around. It just kind of adds a little bit more decorative touch to it, don't you think? All right, y'all ready for the raffle? Robin's ready. She wants me to do it now because I got to give you the last prize of the live stream before the giveaway of the journal at the end. And thank you all for your donations. And Remember, it gets you a discount in my shop, as well as some free digital downloads. So make sure that you go over to my website and say, hey, Linda, I donated on YouTube. Make sure you create a user account on my website so that I can put those together. All right, so I think it needs a sentiment that we can add. Celebrate your creativity. How's that? I'll put that on here. Maybe. It may be too big, but we'll see. Distress ink. Coming around the edge. All right. Maybe right there. Celebrate your creativity. So that gives us some more writing space. <laughs> Y'all, oh no. Y'all are just off on a, all kinds of tangents in the chat. I see, I see, I see. <laughs> all right. That's another page completed. Y'all entered the raffle, so let me get everything ready here. And we are giving away a whole bunch of goodies right now. Yes, I will take a cruise again. I mean, yes, I know I got sick with COVID right at the end of it. But, yeah, I'll, we'll be cruising again. We'll be cruising in December. We've already got it booked for New Year's. Okay. Yeah, so people are still getting it, so I'm just going to not worry about it and <laughs> do my life.
All right. So the winner of the bag of goodies, the journal cards and stuff is Gigi's Art Art Attic. And I think you I already owe you a prize, so make sure I do have your mailing address and we'll get that sent out to you. I got to write some thank you notes. All right. Reset. Yes, go here. And this is a trifold folio. So I'm giving away this trifold folio. I made a tutorial. You'll see it at midnight tonight. It will post and it will show you how I put this together. It has a journal card in it with the skull, the cow skull again, and the words follow your soul. And then you flip this open and there's a pocket here with some journal cards. There's a pocket here with some journal cards. I didn't get that one flat. And then this opens up and this is a photo from my garden that Norella turned into a digital. And then I stamped on a little notepad, made a little notepad then stamped the library card on a printed page and then had this as a printed page and then when you flip it to the back this is the other half of this image and then i put a mason jar or canning jar little tag in here so we're going to give this little trifold folio away and there's a little piece of bling on it and again, the tutorial will be out tomorrow. And I want to thank each and every one of you for watching my videos. I greatly appreciate your support. All right, let's put that up here. And all right, here we are. I need to count how many pages we have to see if I have enough now. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plus the cover, wherever the cover is. It's around here somewhere. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Alrighty. So we're getting ready to create the cover. And I wanted to put a, another journaling space in the cover so we'll move this out of the way for a second and here's what I've got I've got a book page here and it's really quite thin and I'm I want it to be thin but I don't want the edges to really tear up because this is going to be a little bit smaller so I think what I'm going to do is grab another if I can find them book page and glue these together <laughs> actually what I should do is cut it to be the size I need it and then glue them together maybe I don't know I think I'll glue it together <laughs> I can't make up my mind all right so if I line this up on the text, try to get some glue on here. I was going to do this ahead of time and I just ran out of time. Can you believe it? Trying to put a good amount. And I'll just trim this with my paper trimmer. Oh, my help. I put it on the right line, Linda. Now I'm just trying to follow where the other paper was.
And this one's right. That was really crooked. Oh, I see what I did. I was off by a lot. There we go. Last cut. Okay. I had the Mermaid Lagoon. Where'd it go? I don't see it. All right, y'all. This is ridiculous that I keep having this issue tonight. <laughs> All right. So I want to make this edge a tealy color. So I'll just use my ink pad. I don't need to do the spine. I started to, but I don't need to. So I'm just using my ink pad direct to the page. And I'll flip it over. And to the other side as well. So you can change a piece of paper to match applying a stamp pad like the mermaid looking. All right, so I want just a little bit more color on here. I was going to use a paintbrush, but I think I'll just spritz it. So it just kind of changes it up just a little bit and we'll dry that. What? Oh, I lost. I thought I had it here somewhere, but who knows? <laughs> Somebody was trying to call me. Okay, flip it over. So by spraying it with the wild and free color in the kit, kind of muted that teal just a little bit. It kept a little bit of shimmer on there. All right, so I'm going to set that aside. It's not 100% dry, but it's getting there. And here I have one of the digital papers that I printed to fit on top. And then I had this little tear off notepad that I picked up. It was hilarious. It says a uh, pack on notepad, five vibrant colors unruled, but look at the colors. So I'm having fun using that as additional writing space. Let's use a stencil on here. I hope I turn it this way. I still can't believe what happened to the Mermaid Lagoon brush. It's a brush. I'm missing a brush. Well, I'll find it someday. Now I got to figure out what stencil I want to use and what color. Oh, let's do this one. I haven't done it in a while. This is the Diamonds with Flare stencil. Well, I think I'm going to do this green on the blue. Let's see what it looks like. If we don't like it, we can flip it over. It's kind of bright, but I think I like it. I think I want it just a little bit. This one is mowed lawn. And it was another one that I picked up. I think it was on clearance at one of the spots when I went a while back now. just a little bit. It's kind of neon. I don't know if you can see it. It's really subtle on there. All right, so here's what I want to do is I want to 
position these on here and I think what I want to do is glue those down and then go to the sewing machine. So sewing cam lamb. I'll give you the measurements that I made here. Of all these pieces. I'll get my ruler out. So it is eight and three quarters of an inch wide and I think I made it seven inches tall. Yeah, seven inches tall. I made it that size because it's going in a pocket and the pocket, the way the depth of it was, I didn't want this sticking out too far and getting bound up in the spine. So now what I'm going to do is just go right around this outside edge and stitch this in place. I moved my camera earlier. All right, so we're going to stitch this down. If Henry comes home soon, he can bring me something to drink. <laughs> I should be done soon. This is, this is the last thing is decorating this. Then I will show you all the pages that I made ahead of time. We will put the journal together. I made a fabric cover, so I'll be showing you that here in just a moment. That will wrap around the journal. So I'll show you how that looks. And then once I have it put together, I'll do a flip through video or flip through of it in the video. And that's when the people who have donated will have a chance to win the journal that I made today during this live. Remember, when you donate, your mem that is a membership to my website. And you get free digital downloads. And you also get a discount on items in my shop. 5% discount. Rhonda, I got your email if you're still here, Rhonda Bennett, and I replied, I hope you got it, so check your email or message me on Facebook. Alright, I'm stitching. I'm going to go this way. Alright. So I've got that portion done. Steak and baked potato. That sounds yummy. We're having beans. All right. I'll put that right in the middle. So I'll have a little bit of that teal puking out behind there. And I think I'll go ahead and just glue the whole thing down. Because this is writing space, it doesn't need an additional pocket in it, in my opinion. You could put one in there if you wanted. Alright, so this is going to go right in the middle. From top to bottom. Trying to get that centered. All right, use my plastic card. Flip it over. All right, now I've already done this side, so I'm just going to glue it into place and then finish decorating the other side. So this time I use another page from the paper add-on pack. And then I use the orange and I stamped the henna rose in the corners. I use the tiny postcard, a little label here, and then one of the images from the creative kit. And I think I'll fold this just a moment. Yeah, 
it made it thicker so I don't think having pockets in it would be very good all right so I have this little crystal and I just thought that would be kind of pretty stuck in the corner there BLTs we Henry bought some bacon and it came out all shredded. It was all difficult to cook. <laughs> so hopefully the next package will be better. And I told you how big the page, page was. And I just kind of graduated each page a little bit smaller. I like it. All right. We're done with that. And then this is the cover that I chose. So I printed one of, I don't know if this is a journal page or if it's an actual cover, but I like that look. And then on the inside, this is one of the label pieces. I think it's for the planner kit. And I took a little piece of fabric and old thread. I just kind of wadded up. Plus these were threads from when I ripped a piece of fabric and there's threads come off. I kind of ball them up and I have a little tray. I've been putting them in. See here, here's some more. And then I've got my old thread in here. And I just put a little bit of that down and I stitched over the fabric and then I added some bling. You see the bling? And so we have wild and free. And this is the pocket where this little journal contraption is going to go and it doesn't interfere with the spine. But you have this side, this side, and this side. And it's it's kind of hefty feeling because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six layers of paper. So it, it's kind of nice feel, but not cardstock. That makes sense. And then in the back, this is a belly band. I ended up taking one of the printed papers and another piece on the bottom for a pocket. And this is another of that same print. And then I put some little tear off pages if you want to tear them off or just write them i only decorated the one on the front and these are for the stencils from the wild and free kit and then that fits right there so that's my cover and i've got somewhere here a little piece of paper there it is journal made by so i'll sign it now and glue it into the journal And this is 314 2022. And I think I'll glue it. It'll be covered up, but I'll put it right here in this corner. You like the notepad? It's just, you know, those little tear off notepad. And then I just attached it to a piece of printed cardstock, which is one of my gel prints. Stenciled on top, add some fabric, and then Aspire to Be Amazing was stamped on a scrap. So that'll go right there. Okay. And I believe... Oh, wait. Don't you be messing up on me. Okay. That's the cover. And then... I made this one. This is one of the belly bands in the kit. And I put a card behind it. Well, I'll show you more when we actually flip through the journal. And this was leftover bits. Frank and Paige them together. Someone sent me this cellophane bag and I just embellished it. Uh, here's a different technique of adding writing space. So this is one of the collage papers in the kit. And this is a label. And I took a piece of text weight paper that was cut longwise, and it just so happened I was able to trim it. That's where the envelope came from, this little sliver over here. And this has a journaling card in the pocket. And then you can write on the back side. And you've got this neat collage. Over here, I used one of the fussy cut elements and just used one of the journal cards. Yes, it kind of blends in the page, but that's why I like about it. Uh, here's another Franken page. This time, I had some stamped images 
that I scanned in and then printed so that I could reuse it over and over and over. And I actually altered the colors again on this. So I've got some different variations I played with. This is going to be a new stamp. This is a prototype. It's a carnation. I'm going to have the flowers, uh, the birth month flowers. So January's carnation, uh, what is it, gladiola or poppy for August. So each one I'll have a rubber stamp represented. And so I was playing with size. It's going to be a little bit bigger than this because I decided that was too small. But I stamped it and watercolored it over a book page. And I just used some scraps to fill in. And then we made these pages. So we've got this page. So one, two, I'm trying to make sure I got enough pages. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. Six. Seven, eight, nine. 10. Okay, yep, got all the pages I need. And then I'll show you the outer cover, but first I'm going to put the journals together. So what do I want the dead center to look like? Do we want... I don't know. I'm torn. I kind of like this for the center of the journal. But now that I'm looking at it, no, I don't. I don't want that for the center. I think this one or this one. Let's see. Flip up, have the full effect. See the variation between the two pages. Okay, this one's going to go in the middle. Okay. And then this one. This one. This one. So I'm trying to figure out my placement. What do I want the very first one? It's the journey, not the destination. I think that'll be the first page. And we'll just kind of start picking up pages. Maybe one of these again. I'm trying to make variations. Oh, I lost it. Don't fall. Stay just a little bit longer. Oh, won't you please stay? <laughs> Do you like it? All right, we'll put this one here. Oh, thank you, Ada, for your do donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, and then this will go here. I think I like that. Okay. And then this is going to go in there. See how chunky monkey this is coming out to be? Chunky monkey. But wait, there's more. So I made a wrap cover for this. I hope I made it big enough. I'm going to stitch the whole thing together. So what I want to do is line this up with my cover and test my wrap. And yes, that's going to work. So what I need are my tools. And what I'll do is attach these together as a one unit. So I'm getting all my tools out of my junk journal tools. I've got the heavy duty binders needle in my shop. You get a set of two for $5. I'm doing three times the height of my journal here. Okay. So I'm going to thread this in and have this ready here. I can't see apparently. All right, so what I need is I've got this lined up. So I need to find the center. 
Make sure all my pages are centered from top to bottom. I think they were all the same size. I'd contemplated doing some variated sizes, but I ended up just sticking with what I had. So I'm just going to use my clamps here. Trying to eyeball that I've got it in the center. You don't want your pages moving on you when you're stitching the spine. Okay. Trying to keep it all smooth. I think I need one more clampy. Do I have one more? Yes, I have one more. Actually, I think I have another more. Another one. All right. So I think I've got it pretty much clamped all the way around. I'm going to make sure that I've got it seated down into the spine here. I've got my bookbinders template for the pamphlet stitch, and that's available on my website, so you can download it and use it as a template in your journals. So I'm going to take my awl with my pages bead and poke a hole all the way through. And poke a hole all the way through and poke a hole all the way through. I have some fun foam on my desk. You want to make sure that you have something protecting your work surface. All right, so I'm removing the template. How many of you sewed them in and going from the inside to the outside? All right, you need to be not flopping around on me. And sometimes. When you're dealing with fabric, you can't really see the hole. So I will poke my awl in it and then basically line up my needle with my awl so I can pull it through. And close the awl so you don't injure yourself. I have poked myself a few times with awls. That's why I like the retractable. Retract retractable? Yeah, whatever that is. All right, I don't want to split my thread, so I'm really trying to pull it up. All right, going to the outside, tightening that up. I'm going to poke my hole again. Poke the hole again. I can't help but poke the hole again. <laughs> uh. Give it your all. Thank you. It's <laughs> too funny. All right. Close the thingy. Put some of the tools away. All right. And now for the last of the stitching. So I need to make sure that it's tight on the inside and the outside. It's why I like to use wax linen thread. I don't have any gaps here. So we're going to tighten this up. I don't need the needle anymore. And we'll tie this off. Do a square knot. One and two. And I'll kind of leave these long in case somebody wants to put charms on them. I may do it after the live stream if I feel like it. <laughs> no guarantee. All righty. So the cover... I'll give you a moment to look at it while I clean a few things away on my desk. The cover, I, oh, come on, I uh, took a bunch of my fabric scraps and just started piecing it together. There really wasn't a true rhyme or reason to it. <laughs> Other than I was trying to put colors that I thought would blend with the kit. And this was like, I have a little bit more of this piece left over. I stamped on fabric. That is the cow skull that I stamped on there. I just made sure I had my fabric flat. And I inked up my stamp, pat, stamp really well with archival inkjet black. And stamped and held it in place for a moment. And then I just used that fabric. 
And then these were all quilt strips. I'm a member of a quilt guild. Well, I haven't been in a while because, you know, COVID. But I could buy little grab bags of fabric. And sometimes I would get little strips like that. Um, and I also used some of the digital images and a rubber stamped image. This is paper here and here. I just made sure that where I positioned it, it wasn't going to be bound up in the cover. The cording, what do you want to call this? Trim, embroidery, what, knotted trim, I don't know what you call it. You get some of that in the subscription box possibly, or you may have got a beaded trim. Uh, so I was trying to figure out a way to use it to show y'all a quick way to wrap it around the outside. You love the patchwork? Thank you. Thank you so very much. So that's the outside cover. All right. We're going to give away the little folio. And then I will do a flip through of the whole journal showing you all the ins and outs and whatnot. And, um, yeah, so if you, uh, donated, make sure you donate now, if you didn't donate, so you get it on the raffle. So we're going to give away this little folio tutorial is coming tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. And as you can see, I've kind of got into a wrap mood today because <laughs> I had this tutorial as well as the, um, today's journal. All right. Thank you so much. You love the cover. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Giveaway. The winner of the folio is Creative Nana, a.k.a. Sheila. Congratulations. All right. So we're going to reset that. And I need to open my folder. Get that. We're going to go here. All right, so if you donated, now is the time for you to enter the raffle. And the following people donated, Margie, Lori, Morgan, Sherry, Robin, Nadine, Laura, Connie, Janice, Suzanne, Gigi's Attic, Rhonda Bennett, Heather Blood, Eric, and Ada. So that's one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 people who have donated. All right. Just trying to get everything out of the way. I still have a few extra things on my desk, but I've got plans for them. Okay. So the cording, what do you want to call this? What I did was I sandwiched it between this piece of fabric and there's another piece of fabric in here that's uh, white. And then I put this piece on the back side and I stitched it a couple of times. So it's in there pretty good, but this stuff unravels like crazy. So to keep this in from unraveling like crazy, I took a piece of denim and just wrapped it around and then stitched it. So here's the back side. You can kind of see there's an opening there and just stitched it a few times. And I just left the fab, the fibers just kind of hanging out there and it's only glued on one side and you can see all the fabric this is stamping stamping and stamping rubber stamp and rubber stamp there and then i didn't put anything on the inside i just lined it this fabric is so thin you can see the stitches where I stitched everything down. That's how thin this stuff is. I don't know why I bought it because I got a bunch of it, probably because it was so cheap. One of the covers from the kit, maybe at a journal page that I turned into a cover. And then this was a leftover from the labels. We made this today using a book page and some of the printed pages, as well as some tear off notepad with some stenciling. So this one, I stamped the henna rose in the corner and then just kind of did a collage that's the tiny postcard that i have in my shop it's the journey not the destination is the first page and then the next page we have all the feathers so we have feather like uh, leaves the feathers up there and the feathers down here and an arrow at the top another feather on this side these pictures are pictures from my garden I sent them to Norella and then she kind of manipulated them and made them into images in the kit. 
Another one of the journal pages. This is from the add-on kit. We did some collaging on there. And this is a file folder that comes out. And then it has a couple of these little tickets. That are, one ticket that I cut in half that's inside Norella's big ticket. This was two pieces of paper that I spliced together using another piece of paper. This is scrapbook paper that I use some of my gel print. This is my digital wild two dig gel print digital download. And this is from the kit. And I did make it smaller and apparently I lined it up at the bottom instead of in the middle. Create the world you want to see. This is a collaged page just using different pieces that were left over and a rubber stamped image there. And the back side, because I stitched it, what I did was I went in with Distress Oxide and filled each square. And then I came back and stamped over the top of it. So you got some pattern inside there. And this was one of the pages that I cut up and made pockets and other stuff. This is from the planner kit. And this is my layered journal card and little file folder. And on this side, we just made a page flag. This is a big belly band. And so I have the word search in there. And it's another Franken page as the base. And I, what I do is I glued all the pages down, all the papers down on one side and stitched it. And then I chose something else from the other side or like I showed the last one where I used the Distress Oxide. Library card stamped on one of the printed papers. Follow Your Soul was stamped and put on a little scrap of paper. So this goes here and this goes there. And again, this goes all the way through. If you wanted a bigger card, you could put one through there. I liked having that fabric there. This was scrapbook paper there. This flips up and then we have a journal card in the little flip up. And over here we have one of the fussy cut elements and a journal card on top. And then I didn't glue these completely closed so I made it to have a pocket and I used one of the kit and this was a little tag shape that I made and put that behind. And then this is one of the kit elements. And I did some uh, stitching with fabric. I love the variety of colors. I know this is not everybody's cup of tea, but that's what I love. This was a glassine bag that someone made and embossed and sent to me. And this journal card just happened to fit right inside of it. And I didn't try to put it behind it but you could also put something in the very very back if you want so you have both and it's not perfect but i thought it turned out pretty cute the way i stitched it on there this is one of the chipboard pieces from the wild and free subscription box i painted it white and then i sprayed it with the blue and the teal no the purple and the and the teal and it kind of gave this really cool modeled effect. And then I stamped some fabric. Always dream big. This is the cow skull. Watercolored. Over here is the page that started off with a spider plant looking cactus that people did not like. And I layered this pocket on top of it. Then I layered a butterfly and they still said I can still see a spider back there. So I stamped some flowers all around and used the word journal on some fabric. And then this is from the kit. So that'll go right here. And this little tag is from the kit. So I'll go back there. Another collaged page. This is the back side flipping back this way now. And again, I filled in with Distress Oxide. Then I glued a stitched paper on top of the page and made a pocket. But you can see where I stamped just over and over and over. Because I knew it wasn't going to write on that side because I had all these other layers. That was a planner page there. And another image from my garden. And then this was the rubber stamp. This is a trialing 
to see if I like that size. I'm going to make it bigger and I'll have birth month stamps coming up real soon. It's just, just another scrap over here, one of the kits. And then I don't know if you can see, that's gold paint. So I made some papers that I colored with Tattered Angels, let those dry, and then I came back and daubed some gold paint on a few of the pages. This one, the printed pages. So this is a flip out page here. And I didn't decorate this side. I thought it didn't really need it. You can add stuff to it if you want. Over here, there are pockets that have these journal cards in them that we did live here today. Now I can't get it again. Why can't I get it? There it goes. I just put that behind. And then I took a little strip of paper that was laying here on my desk and folded it up. And then I stamped the henna embellishment on top. And it just so happens comes right down the center. And then there's a band here. So this kind of folds right into that. And this is the same. Okay. And that's glued together. Simple embellishment on this page. Nothing over here. So lots of writing space. Then we got lots of color, a little bit of fabric. And then this was stenciled, stamped, and collaged upon. So we have lots of different things going on. This one was kept relatively plain. And then we've got some bright color again. This is the very back of the journal cover, the cardstock portion. And then I just made a little notepad again. So it's got several different pages. You can write on the backs of these. And that fits in the belly band. And it says, saying bye. And here's the back inside. So if you wanted to add something like right in here, another pocket, you could. But this folds over. This goes around. It needs to be trained a little bit. So I'll probably lay a book on it to help get that to lay down just a little bit. I hope you enjoyed the live today. Did you see something that you enjoyed the most? Hey, if you would, when we get off here, uh, come back to the video comments and leave me a comment which was your favorite portion of the video. All right, so this is it. Last call. If you're in the raffle, get in it now to win this journal. I'm going to take my last drink. I think I'm out of water. I had one swallow left. We're going to pick a winner here and orders will be shipped out as soon as I get the Tattered Angels. I thought that's what my delivery was, but it was not. So I'm waiting on Tattered Angels to arrive and the printed portion of the Wild and Free Kit. And then I'll be shipping everything out this week. I'm hoping I get it this week. I'm supposed to. I may end up changing my subscription ship out date to the 20th of the month because I keep having problems with getting the Tattered Angels and the print job to me on time. So I'm hoping that if I extend my deadline but keep my original deadline with them that I'll get it sooner if that makes any sense <laughs> you want to be me when you grow up oh well thank you Lori that's so sweet of you to say that thank you thank you thank you yes the alien spider it got covered up <laughs> Oh dear. Um uh, Monday or an Amazon order for STEM club book took over a month. Oh cool, cool, gotcha, gotcha. Um I don't know what I'm gonna do Monday. I think I may do a an eclectic wild and free, meaning I'll finish using up some of my wild and free stuff and add in some other things. So kind of kind of morphing this out into other kits and other embellishments to see how I can draw this out a little bit differently. Because you know, when you get these kits, you can also mix them with the other kits. It's okay to do that, okay? <laughs> All right, let's pick the winner. For the journal today, that winner is Gigi's Art Studio. Congratulations, Gigi. You, you got a couple of things today. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you, Gigi. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, I hope you enjoyed the journal, Gigi. It'll be shipped out later this week. 
when I ship all my stuff. Because it takes me about a day and a half to ship everything. So I have to dedicate all that. I've got a tutorial coming out tomorrow. I love how this came together. I'm glad I took some pictures of the cover. And I like how it looks now. i got to do some more of that. Uh, hey, if you have any questions, Bill, feel free to ask in the comment box. Check out the description box for links to products that I used and Amazon links and in my shop. And if you could come over to my shop, if you purchase something, please leave me a review for that item that you've purchased. I'd greatly appreciate it. Oh, yeah, a little BW Vans and Hippie Flowers. Yes. See, and that's just it. You can add all those things with this. I know it kind of has. Um, a little more tribal look to it, I guess, but I just love trying to get all the mix of it. All right, everybody, y'all have an amazing day. I'm hopefully Henry will be home here in a minute because it took me longer today. I'm tired and I'm ready to eat some dinner and uh, go relax for a little while. And hopefully my stuff will get here tomorrow so I can get it all packaged and sent out to you. Otherwise, it'll be the next day or the next day. We'll just go with that. Um, what else? Y'all have an amazing week. And again, thank you so very much for being here. Have a great time tonight. Thank you. Oh, I can't type. Thank you so much. Um, looks like Oklahoma to me. We're in Oklahoma. That's, that's right. <laughs> that's pretty much it. That's what we do. It's kind of that look, doesn't it? Alrighty, y'all have an amazing day. Lots of love to you. Bye, everybody.